Hello everybody and uh, welcome to your first home PE lesson. Um, today we're just going to be focusing on our legs, we're going to be stretching and different movements with our legs. All you'll need today is a water bottle to keep you nice and refreshed, um, keep you energised as well, keep you nice and cool. So if you want to go and grab a water bottle, if you don't have one already, go um, and pause this video and then you can get a water bottle. Right, so everyone's got the water bottle and uh, it's time to get into some stretching. So stretching, we all know we need to do before we do any type of working out or sport or any activity, keep our muscles nice and relaxed and ready to, ready to move. So our first stretch, very, very simple, okay, is a lunge. Now, I'll start starting off for you. What we want to do with a lunge, we want to take one step forward, we want to bend down with our back knee, and make sure that our knee's not touching the floor. It needs to be hovering just above the floor. We're going to hold it for a few seconds like that. Once you've done that, switch legs over and go down again. And hold it for a few seconds. Okay, I was a bit pointing to the camera now as well. Forward again. Keep switching those legs. A few seconds. We've got about five on each leg. Okay, and down we go. Nice and slow. We go down the better for our muscles. It's not a race or anything like that. Okay, I'll face this way now. We go forward and down. Back up. And we're down again. Okay, shake it off a little bit. If we want to make that a bit harder for ourselves as well, we can go down and put a little twist in as well. Keep our balance. It's hard to keep balance when you're twisting, so it's a good challenge. A little twist. We'll do one more on each leg. Okay. So we're going to get down, little twist if you like, back up, down, twist, back up. And after every stretch, especially with our legs, we need to shake it out, get rid of all the cobwebs. And then moving on to our next one. Now this one, one of my favourite ones, I like doing this in P class with you guys. And that is, we're going to be working on our, this muscle here, our quads. Okay, and what I want us to do is to pick up our leg, one leg, to my which leg, holding by the ankle. We try and hold your balance. We hold it for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Just reaching legs. If you're struggling to keep your balance, you can always put your arm out for support like an aeroplane, or you can um, look at point on the floor. That's what I like to do. Looking at somewhere on the floor, switch legs again. I like looking at a point on the floor, keeping my concentration on that. You can also hold your opposite ear, arms up like an aeroplane. Or if you're doing it with someone else, maybe your brother, sister, mum or dad might be on the go with this. You can hold on to them as well. Okay, shed it off, we'll do one more each on each leg. Okay, now I'm looking at the camera, I'm focusing on the camera, I've got my balance. Try and keep your back nice and straight as well, nice and tall. Okay, shed it off. Last leg, three, two, one, again, big shake off, well done. Right, this uh, leg stretch is one of my running club's favourite, my running club's seen a long time ago, but I know people have done running club in the past will know this stretch, they all like it, it's called shoot the chickens. Okay, so what I would like you to do is put one foot in front of the other, a decent enough gap, bend your back knee, and your front foot will point to the roof, to the sky. And what you're going to do is, if you want to put a bit more pressure on your leg, you're going to put your hands on top of your front leg. And what that's going to do is going to help stretch your hamstrings, which is one of the biggest muscles in our body, help stretch them down the back of your leg. Okay, so we'll switch sides. Foot to the roof. Okay, and so push down. And really feel that stretch. I don't know how good hamstrings this, this really helps me out. It makes me a bit more flexible. Walking and things like that. Okay, I'll do it facing this. So do one more on each leg. Reaching down. Nice. And then switch legs. Pushing down. Well done. Right. Shake it off. Let's go do one more stretch and some more in upper body 
a full body stretch, okay? So what I would like you to do is have your feet wide in the shoulder width. There's a decent gap, okay? So they're slightly wide in your shoulders. We're gonna start down one side of my leg, okay? We're gonna see how flexible you, if you are. If you can touch your ankle on your toes, that is really, really good. Uh, as you can see, my flexibility is not that good. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna crawl up our leg up to our hip, and then we're gonna go around slowly, nice and slow, and we're gonna go down to the other side. And hold it for a couple of seconds. Again, you'll feel it down the back of your leg. Back up we go. Back down, make it a rainbow if you want to call it a rainbow. And back down the other side. As you can see, we do it nice and slow, so don't overstretch these. Oh, that hurt ourselves, don't any, any injuries. Which could, could quite happen if you go um, too fast. Right, we'll do one more on each side over we go. Good. Nice one. Keep the knees locked in, legs straight. And we are done. Shake it off. And that is your warm up done. So let's go have a quick break. Pause the video, have a drink. And we'll be um, going straight to our first activity. Right, well. right, let's get straight to our first activity. Like I said at the start of the video, we will be working on our legs. Okay, so what I want us to do to start with, we're just gonna be running on the spot. Very simple, okay. Nothing special, just running on the spot. We're trying to keep it nice and fast. We're not running around the living room. Running on the spot. Here we go, keep going in. Here we go, that's good. Keep a nice rhythm. Balls of your feet, we all know what balls of our feet are. Uh, not on our tiptoes like that, so we can't run on our tiptoes. Okay, but balls of our feet. Keep going. And stop. Well done. Right, this time we're going to go, instead of running on the spot, we're going to try to do high knees. So high knees are really important. What we do high knees is that we get them as high as we can to about hip level, okay, and we keep our back straight, okay. So, for an example, here we go, our back's going to be nice and straight. Okay, that knees nice and pat. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go high knees. Come on, get those knees nice and high, high knees. Use your arms as well. It's hard work, use your arms, keep going. Another five seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, and stop. Well done. You should be feeling a little burning legs now, so give that a little shake off. Okay. Next, thing we're going to work on, we'll move on to our squats. Okay. So, feet slightly apart. We're going to go down, bend our knees. Okay. We're going to sit down into our knees. Okay. Down we go, and back up, down we go, and up. that's the point we do is slowly, not fast, protect our joints, down we go, keep going, again you'll feel the burn, your muscles working, up here, if you want to bring your arm hands together, try and keep in time with me if you can, I'll drink in a second. Do five more. Three, two, one, zero. Well done. Shake off, time for a little drink. Have as long of a drink as you want or a rest. I'm tired as well. Um, but if you want to have a longer rest than we're going to have in the video, Pause it, have a drink, shake your legs off a bit, and then get back into it. So, we've just done three exercises there. We did jogging on the spot, we did high knees, 
we did squat. Okay, so we're going to do another round of that. Okay, and then we're going to move on to some different types of leg movements. So you ready? We're going to start with jogging on the spot. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Get those arms working. Get those arms working. Here we go. See how I'm pumping my arms. Keep going. Another 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, we're going to go straight to high knees. So we go high knees, really high there. Yeah. Right. Keep that back straight. Ooh, catch this walked in. Go shine that side on. Keep going, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet apart, and here we go, straight into our squat. Nice and slow, keep a nice rhythm. Keep it going. Breathing is really important as well, if we keep our breathing rate in a good rhythm as well, we'll be, we'll be good, keep that heart and the blood pumping around the body. Here we go, we're going to five more. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Well done, I think you all deserve a break. I definitely need a break, so I'll have a quick Greeks break again. And then we'll move on to our next uh, activity, our final activity, before we do a little cool down at the end, a little stretch. Have a good drink. Right, you've had your drink. Hope you've got your breath back a bit. I'm still, still like Christmas turkey, I think. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a progression on the squats that we've just been doing. So we're going to start with our feet apart. Okay, and this little exercise is called ceiling and floor. So when I shout ceiling, you're going to jump as high as you can and touch the ceiling. But when you land, I want you to land with a little knee bend like that. I want to take all the pressure from the jump and cushion on knees. So again, we don't get any injuries. So that's when I shout ceiling. When I shout floor, you're going to bend down almost into a squat and touch the floor. Okay, so you ready? Here we go. Ceiling. Bend your knees. Floor, ceiling, floor, you switch hands as well, ceiling, floor, ceiling, floor, okay, really good, switch over again, switch your hands again, ceiling, floor, ceiling, floor, Okay, now we're going to combine that together now. So I'm going to stop saying ceiling and floor. We're going to do it as one. So we're going to start by jumping up, trying to touch the ceiling. And as we come down, we're going to bend our knees and straight away, touch the floor. Then jump up again, down and up, down, up, down, up, down, like that. Okay, so it's going to be a bit harder and you're really going to be working your legs. So here we go. When I say switch hands, we're going to switch hands as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Up we go. Down, up, down, up, down. Switch hands. And stop. Who else's legs hurt in my arm? Quick drinks break. I'm getting hot and sweaty as well. Here we go. Right, ready to do that again. We'll go to the second round of that. So feet apart, I'll go side one this time. 
feet apart. Stand up. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep going. Switch hands. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And stop. Well done. You've kept up with me, or oh, you've done better than me. Really, really good stuff. I am getting tired. Luckily, got one more little activity to do, and I'll finish off with some stretching. Have a drink. Right. So, final activity. We're going to do some kangaroo jumps or some frog jumps, you can call them that as well. Um, and you're going to be around your living room or wherever you are now, around the space you're in. And what I would like you to do, not jumping too far, you don't want to be crashing into anything. But you're going to imagine you've got little spots around. There could be lily pads if you're a frog, there could be sand spots if you're a, a kangaroo. And we're going to be jumping around. I'm going to try to connect those spots. And I want you to imagine you've got four different spots. So I'm going to have spot one over here, spot two over here, spot three over here, and where I'm standing will be spot four. Okay, we're going to go around in anti clockwise, and then I might go around clockwise as well, see how we go. So we're going to be starting. Remember a kangaroo jump. Feet together, arms ready to swing, bend our knees, jump up, and you're going to land by bending your knees. Try and keep those feet together. So we're going to try and do four jumps anti clockwise and then four jumps clockwise. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go. That's one, turn. Two, turn, three, turn, four. We're going to go back again. One, turn, two, turn, three, turn, four, turn. Now, I think I've made a mistake. I was jumping from hard floor to carpet to a rug. It's a bit slippy, so they fell over there, so sorry about that. Um, who thinks they could do that backwards? Maybe that's a challenge for you to do in your own time at some point. Okay? Right, the final thing we're going to do, make it even harder, we've got our four spots around the room. Instead of jumping, we're going to be hopping. Okay? Choose your strong leg to start with. We spoke about a strong in a weak leg before. So let's choose our strong leg. Mine's my right foot, my right leg. Left leg in the air, get your balance, three, two, one, same thing, but on one leg. One, two, three, get your balance, four. Now, we're going to go around the other way, but we're going to switch legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and that is it. That is your first uh, two exercises done. If you're having PE workouts, we're going to move on to a brief cool down stretch now. So grab a drink and uh, I'll see if you cool down stretch. Right, so it's time for some cool down stretches. Uh, these are going to be fairly simple, just a little stretch. Just Loosen up our muscles a bit, so hopefully we won't wake up tomorrow with pain in our legs or feeling a bit stiff or anything like that. So all you're going to do, a bit like shooter chickens, but instead of bending your back knee like we did at the start of the video, one foot in front of the other, you're just going to bend your front knee, almost like a lunge, but you're going nowhere near the floor. And what you'll do, feel is, just down the back of your leg, the lower part of your leg, so not the hamstring, it's something called calf muscle, but you feel that stretching a little bit. Switch over, and all you're going to do is put your hands on your hips, call it a double teapot, and just stretch it out, 
Okay, switch your legs again. There we go. Nice. Switch again. Well done. We're going to do this one again. It's a really good one for our quads. Stretch it out. We're not going to hold it for as long. Well. Give it a little shake off. Next leg. Make you focus on the spot. I'm looking at the camera, looking at you guys. Keep your balance. Shake it off. Right, this time I want you to sit down on the floor. You get put one leg straight and the other leg's going to be bent underneath like that. And you're going to try and touch your toes in front, lean of your back. Again, I can't touch my toes, but you'll feel it down the back of your leg. Switch legs. So my left leg's underneath my right leg, I'll look right leg straight. Straight, but try and touch your toes. Oh, closer to my right leg just. Maybe after all these pain workouts, I might be able to touch my toes, who knows? Switch over again. Oh, left one's got a bit closer. Last one. There we go. Stand up and give her a good shake off. Okay, well done. That's your first one done. Pretty a bit of a tough one, I know. Um, hopefully, some of the next ones you might find a bit easier. Um, there might be some games you've done in PE with me before. And uh, so, yeah, well done. Um, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe. See you later.